Well, greetings, this is Trev. Thanks for joining me once again. This is the overview video for the Order and Inventory Plus program. If you've enjoyed doing our previous tutorials and you want to learn some more about VBA and particularly you want to learn about using VBA with user forms, well, this is the video for you. This is the project for you. If you're just on a basic level and you're struggling with the more basic things, when well, perhaps it'd be better to leave this and do one of the easier projects because what we're going to do here is take you through a full system that shows you how to use user forms to track and add everything to do with orders and inventory. Now, for instance, when the program opens, it opens with this user form opening up. And from here, you're able to navigate to all of the user form features. So if you wanted to add an order, you'd put your order in here. You can put in multiple orders. We put in allowed 10 into here. If you wanted to add products, a new product needs to be added to your system. Well, this is where you'd add the product. You don't need to go to the sheet to do it. And again, a supplier. You've got a new supplier who's coming in that you're going to deal with, a vendor that you want, you'd add it here. You want to add stock. Well, here's the stock you'd add from here. You'd add your stock in from your vendor, indicating where it's coming from and so on. And then a new customer. Well, you can make your customer, um, your regular customers can all be put in, or you can even put in cash sales. And then, of course, we can close our form. Now, to add to this, what I've done to make it totally versatile, this is how I would like to set it up, I've enabled you on every sheet to be able to call every user form. So for instance, we can go to the main sheet here and call this user form or our order user form. We're also able to add, call our stock user form and our supplier user form. All of those things can be called from every sheet. Now, if you want to navigate to each sheet, well, on the top here, it will take you to the sheet. Here's the order sheet, here's the receiving sheet, here's the supply sheet, and here's our product sheet. And the product sheet will give us an in-stock check, of course, which we've done in a previous tutorial. It will allow us to sort our data and we're, we're also able to set up our categories in here. And here's our customer sheet with all the customers that we would have. All right, let's go back to the interface. All right, let's go back to our interface sheet and we can see some of the other features that we have. We're able to add stock, which again is the same. We can choose our vendor, pop in our vendor, and then we just again, we have dependent lists that are running through here. When we put in paper, it will en enable us to, to put in the the stock that we're receiving. So we're getting incoming goods, we get our set vendors, and now we're sending them through to our incoming list. And this is now adding stock. And so we're doing a plus and minus against all our stock at any given time, which we're looking up on the user forms before we're submitting. So I'll just close this form, I'll clear the, and we'll close the form. So we'd be able to add our orders. So let's go in and add an order. What we do is from our list of customers, Here's our customer names. Now we can put in cash sale if we want, but this is a customer that we regularly deal with. So we put in the order. Here's the order number that the customer has given us and the date of the order was say 12th of the 12th, one, three. Okay, the categories in here are dependent. This isn't really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do this because when we put books into here, we want to put books over into here only. When we pop in the quantity into here, everything is looked up. The code in stock, we know there's minus 18, we can't really send this order, the unit price, and also the total cost. We can go to our next list, put in stationary, but now notice that the, the, the list is dependent here for just stationary. Put in, of course, the quantity and it's all sent across. All we need to then do is just simply put add order. It asks us, do you want to check? Do you want to send this order? Check it first, please. Yes, we want to send it. We've sent the order. Let's check that to make sure. All right, we'll close our form down. We'll go over to the orders sheet here and right at the bottom, you'll find there's the two orders that we just sent across. Now, just before we close this video, I want to spend a minute and show you our product sheet. So here's the product sheet. We're adding new products there, but let's have a look at the sheet by the top here. We're running some conditional formatting in here to help you to see what's in stock, what's out of stock, and when then we're tracking from this across our user forms and our interface sheet. Over the, to the right here, we're running the categories that we're listing and a little filter over here to help with our dependent lists in our user forms. All right, now it's this out of stock, this conditional formatting here and the formulas that we use will help us to check our stock levels at any given time. And that's what you find is the information in here and the basis for our little chart that tells us that we're out of stock. Now, a couple of features that I haven't shown you as yet. We can then at any time check our stock down here. So let's go in and let's check for, let's say stationary. And we put in stationary, let's check all of the stationary 
that we have. Here's our stock checker. And what are we doing? We're looking and doing a check of all the stationery. We're out of stock of two items here. We need to order those two items. All right, well, let's go in, override that. We'll clear that data out. Let's go in now and just look for what is out of stock. Click the button here. This is all of the information that is out of stock. You need to order this if you're going to complete these orders. Let's have a look, for instance, is what you need to reorder now. In other words, not out of stock, but should be reordered. Here's a list of all those things that need to be reordered right now. Under 50 products in stock. All right, that's some of the features. All right, we'll add to that a little bit more, even so. Across here to the right, we're able to check our customers by date. So for instance, we can check between any dates. We've got here in the 7th of the 7th to the 7th of the 8th, 2013. We want to see the total sales for that time period. Let's check the total sales. Here they are. Here's a graph. We're trending down over that period of time. Total sales, $151,000. Here's a list of all of those total sales. But now, let's say we want to check it just by customer. So we'll go in here and we'll just check the one customer. And we'll check our total sales for this customer over this period of time. Gives you the dates and what they've ordered for that time. This is really an awesome little system you can put together. Look, that's about all I can tell you. There's a lot of features in here I haven't shown you. There's some really intricate things, some interesting things to learn. Um, if you'd like to, why don't you start doing the tutorials? We're going to start with setting up our user forms and I'll show you how to do that. There'll be a basic template in there for you to have a look at that will just have the sheets and the navigation. In fact, you know, I'm even going to put in there how you can create your own icons. I created these icons in the sheet and just pulled them back up into the user forms. And you notice, even in our user forms, just to make it look a little bit nicer, we've added some icons. Well, look, that's just about it. I think you get some idea of what we're doing here. Um, the videos, the tutorials will start to be put up over the next few days and we'll just gradually go through them bit by bit for those of you who are interested in doing them. This is Trev from Online PC Learning. Thank you very much for joining me once again. I hope you do enjoy this. It's been a lot of work putting it together and bye for now.